Dr. Romain Dalimon's career here in Bibb County has not been without controversy. From the making miracle to recent rumors and lawsuits, it's no doubt his decision to resign will be a welcomed one for many and a disappointment for others. Here's a look at Dalimon's time as the head of the Bibb County school system. From the beginning, Dr. Romain Dalimon had one objective. The making miracle is designed to help our students to be prepared for 21st century multi-ethnic global economy. But also from the beginning, Dalmon's tenure as Bibb County School Superintendent was met with opposition. Starting with his base pay of $198,000, Dalmon came to Bibb County from Rochester, Minnesota. He was sworn in on January 31, 2011. In his first year, the goal was simple. Meet with every school in the district to assess its performance, then present his strategic plan based on his findings. In February of 2012, he unveiled the Make and Miracle, a plan he estimated would save the district $23 million and save the students. A plan that was met with mixed reviews and lots of questions after he presented it to the school board and then all of Bibb County at the Macon Centerplex. The hotly debated Macon Miracle drew criticism and praise from Bibb County residents and leaders, all directed at Dalamon. Shortly after its unveiling, the superintendent came under fire when he announced he'd be making a trip to Belgium with two other district representatives to show off his plan. The nearly $9,000 trip sparked outcry among several Bibb County residents since the plan hadn't been implemented yet. Dalmon then paid his own way for that trip. In June of 2012, an online petition from Bibb County residents called for an investigation into Dalamon's resume, saying he lied about being a licensed therapist while in Florida. Dalamon said he wasn't the one with the license, but worked for someone who had one. And before the summer came to an end, another conflict in July. Then school board member Gary Bechtel sued the superintendent for posting so, information on the district's website dog, regarding Bechtel's son. That fall, a spike in violence and weapons on school grounds resulted in Dalaman publicly addressing those issues and bulking up discipline within schools. Recently, Dalaman's contract renewal was approved for another three years, and again, controversy didn't shy away. Newly elected school board members Jason Downey and Lester Miller were asked to be included in the discussion of extending Dalaman's contract, but that request was ignored. Then another lawsuit regarding that renewed contract, this time from a parent saying the agenda from the night of the meeting was misleading. There was nothing indicating that a vote would take place after executive session. The board did not inform him that they would be voting to reinstate Dalamont. In Bibb County, Melissa Lee, 41 NBC News. We've reached out to members of the Bibb County School Board, none of whom will comment on Dalamont's resignation. However, we will continue to dig to find out what happens now for the school system. And be sure to check out our website, that's 41NBC.com, for updates.